everybody, Andrea here with Dental L. Let me talk to you guys about waterline maintenance and suction line maintenance. So this is a very common question from a lot of dental hygienists who you're probably doing it, but you don't know if you're doing it correctly. And then if you've been audited and you have to submit your, your practice profile, there is a spot in there where you have to write that down and you have to include as much information as possible. So let me kind of go over that a little bit. So you need to make sure to write exactly what you're doing for waterline and suction line maintenance, meaning how do you purge the lines? How often do you do it? Is it after every patient? Is it morning? Is it afternoon? Is it at the beginning of the day? Is it, is it at the end of the day? You get the idea. And you have to say how long you are purging the lines for. Is it for 10 seconds or is it for three minutes? And how do you do it? Do you attach the air water syringe tips? Do you attach your ultrasonic tips or do you do it without all of that? So you have to know how to do that. But then you also have to, have to make note of, do you use um, city water or a bottle, a bottle system for your water? What type of water do you use? If it's city water, well, then that's your answer. But if it's bottled water or, I'm um, sorry, a bottle system, do you use tap water? Do you use distilled water? Do you use filtered water? All of these things you have to mention. Are you like spinning yet? I know it's very overwhelming, but that's why I'm here to help you. But that's not all. Then you have to mention how do you disinfect the water lines? What exactly do you use? So I suggest going through your office right now and taking a picture of everything you use to disinfect the water lines. How do you shock the water lines? And do you test the water lines? So take a picture of all of those components. So then for your practice profile, you can write that down exactly what the bottle says. The name, how much do you actually use? What are the manufacturer's directions? Even take a picture of what it says on the back of the bottle or the system that you're using. It just kind of makes it easier. They also want to know where do you order it from? Do you order it from Amazon? I hope not, you're gonna get in trouble. Or what dental company do you order from? They wanna know that. Do you shock the system? So in most cases, using a enzyme disinfecting cleaner isn't enough. We need to shock the system. As an example, I'm a mobile dental hygienist, so I typically shock my system either once a week or once a month. It depends on how many patients I'm seeing and how many times I did actually use my compressor unit because I don't use it for every single patient. But shocking the system just really helps to sterilize, if you will, the water lines. Imagine all of the saliva, tartar, bacteria built up in there. It's kind of like just using soap and water or sometimes you need a little bit more, don't you? Imagine cleaning your bathrooms. Are you just gonna use soap and water? Probably not. We wanna get right in there and do a little bit more. The water lines at a dental office or for a mobile dental hygienist is no different. So they want to know exactly how you do it. What do you use? How often do you do it? Um, who is doing it? And how much of that solution do you use? Do you mix it with water? Yes or no? Do you run it through the lines and then wait 20 minutes? Or do you just run it through the lines and then immediately run water through it? They want, they want you to be very specific. But then the last part is, do you do any culture testing? Do you actually test the water that's coming out of the water lines to see if there's any bacteria left or is it at an unhealthy level? If it was at the unhealthy level, then your disinfecting cleaner and the shock system isn't working. That's not good. You don't want the patients, you don't wanna be sucking up, you know, the patient's saliva, bacteria. You don't wanna be spraying water in the mouth and have it not be healthy, right? We have protocols, we have systems in place. We're in healthcare to make sure things are absolutely 110% perfect. Kind of like when we sterilize, we don't just sterilize, we have to test the sterilizer multiple times, not just once. We have many tests that we put inside our sterilizer, many indicators, as you all know. I talk about sterilizing in another video, don't you worry. 
but that's what you guys have to have to write down for the waterline maintenance. So I hope that helps. If you guys need, need more help, I am very, very happy to help. I do offer more help inside the online portfolio workshop that is included inside that course. But then I do have a entirely separate course where I just talk about how you need to write your practice profile, especially focusing on the short answer questions, such as waterline and suction line maintenance, which we just talked about, but I go through it in greater detail. And I give you examples of exactly what you should be writing, not copy and paste, obviously, but I give you my actual practice profile. So you can see what you should have in there to give you an idea. I also talk about sterilization and I write down exactly what I have. So you can see what they wanna see. All of the short answers, I go through everything. So I will leave those courses down below for you if you need help and feel free to comment below. Thank you guys for listening. Please click like if you like the video that does help me and my channel, you guys. So thank you so much. And I will talk to you guys very, very soon.